Hi, I'm Elle Hay. I'm a subarctic beekeeper. I live somewhere north of Fairbanks, Alaska, and I am hiving some boxes of bees today. It's April 22nd, 2020. I'm replacing some of the colonies that I lost during the winter. And so I've got two four pound boxes of old world carniolians that I'm going to be putting in hives today. I haven't had this breed before and I hear good things about their wintering ability. So I want to try them. Here's my boxes. You can hear them. They're pretty active. They just got off the plane from God knows where. Someplace warmer than here, I'm sure. It's kind of a windy day, which is unusual for us. I've got my hive all set up, ready for them. And I want to tell you something cool. Something I heard from Ian Stepler. He has a blog on YouTube, which is very cool. It's called the Canadian Beekeepers Blog. And he talks about the order to put frames for spring buildup. And that's something I'd always been curious about. From left to right, this is what he advocates for. Foundation, foundation, honey. Empty, 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 honey, foundation, foundation. He's in Alberta, which is a little bit warmer than here. And so I love that idea of knowing where to put the frames, putting them in the right place. I've got frames left over from last year. They're from fall 2020. And I've scraped them down, cleaned them. What's left on them is whatever's in the comb, minus any poop I found. So I've got honey, pollen, bee bread, etc. And I've arranged those in the hive. I'm leaving a four or three frame gap in the middle. And that's where I'm gonna insert these bees. So this is a wooden box. Sometimes they come in plastic boxes. And in it are the bees, of course. And there is a tin can. And that is full of sugar syrup to feed them on their flight up. I'm spraying them with a little bit of essential oils and sugar mixture. So that'll make their wings stick together and they won't be able to fly away. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pry out this tin can with my hive tool. There's a slit in the box to the right of the tin can. And that is where the queen is. She's in a little queen cage. So after I get these bees in the box... I'm going to put her in, keep her in the cage, because these bees don't know this queen, and I don't want them to kill her. They've got to have some days to get used to her. So you can hear me prying open this can. And it's always a bit unnerving when I do this, because as soon as I open this, take this can out of the box, I can get it out, bees fly into my face. But I've got my jacket on, and I'm pulling it out slowly, Moving like I'm doing Tai Chi. Because I don't want to startle anybody, for real. There they are. Hello, ladies. They're all there, ready to go in my face, as usual. I'm going to put that tin can on top of my frames. So I want to move real slow, because I don't want these bees to release their warning danger in the midst pheromone. I'm using my hive tool to pry that queen out. Boy, they're all over her. Huh. I'm going to shake those bees off into the hive. I'm going to put that queen in my pocket because I want to keep her warm. And I'm not ready to put her in the hive yet, right? So, knock those bees off. They are wanting to get to know her. She's an active queen. I can see her moving around. I hope she's marked. I prefer when they're marked. They're easier to find. If she's not marked, I'll take her and put her in my queen catcher cage and I'll mark her myself. I've got some acrylic paint pens to um, do that, to use with that. Knocking the bees off that tin can. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pour these bees who are very thirsty. They're hitting the um, sugar syrup pretty quickly. Pretty aggressively or actively. So I've got the box of bees upside down now. So the opening is facing the opening of the hive. And you're going to hear a loud bang because I'm going to drive those bees to the bottom of that box right near the opening. And then I'm going to pour them. Can you hear them? I'm going to stick my phone right in there. That's what it sounds like to be poured into a hive. There's a lot of bees in there. Great. Sometimes they arrive up here partially dead. Instead of a four-pound box, we end up with a two-pound box. Boy, they're cute. Adorable. That's a lot of babies in there. These bees have actually come from the almond fields of California. 
And from what I understand, the bee dealers shake those trees, uh, assemble a box of bees, you know, weigh them out, stick a queen in there. So what we're paying for when I say old world carnelians is I paid for an old world carnelian queen. The bees are much. The bees in the box. All right, so that's it. The bees are in the hive. Everybody's happy. Temperatures are going to get warmer. Take care of yourself. Take care of the bees. This has been a subarctic beekeeper. Everything's copyrighted and all rights reserved.